Ah, oh, all right. One second, we actually have to get some lights on because this, this lighting's not gonna cut it. There we go. You know, I'm not used to having this big camera in front of my face all the time. It's just, it, it's actually just so big. But anyway, let me show you the room. Oh, dude, I swear, one of my greatest investments ever has been this mini fridge, and for numerous reasons. Yeah, let me let me grab this. Well, basically, before this mini fridge, I just never used to drink water, and now, yeah, that is a 40 pack of water. So yeah, in my opinion, a mini fridge, definitely a must, okay? You need one. I almost forgot that my bed was a complete and utter mess, so uh, give me a second while I tidy it up. I really hope that transition looked cool. Probably didn't though. And yes, I do sleep on the ground, okay? Look man, I'm just trying to ball on a budget. It's as simple as that. But enough of that, let's finally get to my bedroom tour. See, VK's, he's sleeping in that room over there. But I just want to show you guys this. So, I don't know if you guys can see the Ethernet cables that is going to his room and then my room. It's so bad, but hey, it works. Okay, so basically, as soon as you enter the room, you have this really nice cube over here, right to your right. I say really nice as if it wasn't like 15 bucks at Ikea, but dude, Ikea is, is kind of the best. So, the first thing I do when I get into my room generally is I'll go over here and I'll plug in my lights. Now, you guys just see these Christmas lights right here, right? I Bet you didn't know that this plug was also hooked up to my black light. Here, I have more black lights over here. I might as well plug that in really quick so you guys can see what I mean. But basically, I don't know if you guys could see this poster too, but also this poster. They're kind of like glowing. And they also make your socks really white. It, it's super cool. I recently put them up all the way around my room, probably about a few months ago. And unfortunately, they aren't able to stretch around the whole room because I did not have enough money for that. But soon, I want this room to be decked out and I want it to look really sick. But I think it looks pretty sick, especially in my webcam. I don't know why, it's like the perfect angle and I, I just absolutely love it. So the first thing in the cube we got here is a bunch of Call of Duty games. Now, unfortunately, I don't play too much console COD anymore. It's just not something I do. I don't know, it, it's just not fun anymore. But hey, it's it's cool to have all the discs and uh, you know, hopefully one day I'll have a use for them. Over here, really just a bunch of random shit. We got some tacks I use to hang up my posters. We got another battery that I need for this mic that you are hearing right now on this footage. We actually have a spare mic over here, which isn't even mine, by the way. This is actually VK's mic that he uses for his camera, but he doesn't use his camera much, so I, I don't know who wants it. Next, two broken controllers. These were for my two box. If you know what a two box is, call me a nerd in the comment section below. We got a funny little sleeping mask that I don't even use. I just used this because before... Actually, no, I'll get into that. The good old Xbox One with uh, a bunch of mechanical pencils and more garbage on it. Just a power brick and another two box controller. Command strips if I ever decide to get posters, which I do want to get, especially some good old framed movie posters. I think that would look really sick in here. You know what I mean? We got some winter boots in case, you know, a good old blizzard comes rolling through. Then we got some spare cables. I really don't know why I have them, but they're, everyone has these cables laying around, okay? You, you just, you just do. Okay, now moving over to the closet. Now, unfortunately, I cannot show you guys what's in here because I am going to be dropping a video where I show you guys all my designer clothing. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Let's 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 go see what's in here. A lot of good old dirty laundry, you know. I'm pretty unorganized. I really couldn't care less about my clothes. Like I do to a sense, you know what I mean? I, I have a good amount of clothes. But it's all just honestly basic. Like I don't know. I don't really care what I wear too much. A lot of black shirts. It's it's a really bad habit. But yeah, aside from all those clothes, got my you know my tripod right there. Got an extra monitor on the ground. Um, and just a bunch of boxes and other clothes up on top of the shelf. When I came here to Utah when I drove a good ripe 35 hours. I had to put everything in boxes. So yeah, that's basically what these are. If you guys remember back in my old house, I basically just had them on display, but here I'm not really able to do that. So I just kind of, you know, keep them in my closet. Moving over here, nothing too exciting. We got two of my travel bags here. So yeah, if you ever see these at baggage claim, please, please don't grab them. 
But anyway, now moving on to the shoes. Got some good old classic white Vans. Can never go wrong with those. Over here, we got my basketball shoes from a while ago. These actually glow in the dark. They're super sick. Unfortunately, I took pretty shitty care of them, as you guys can see right there on the toe. Oh my god, the scuff marks. No. Not the yadas. But who the fuck cares? Uh, next, we have the tampons right here, aka the good old foam posits. You know, you love to see them. I don't really wear them. I really don't. I don't even know why I have them. Might low key sell them. Next pair of shoes here. Here we got the good old grape fives dude this is literally like my favorite jordan colorway you know i'm not really into shoes anymore but the grapes have definitely always been my favorite dude i love the icy bottoms i try to take good care of them but you know as any other teenager you, you like to go to the courts and fucking just ruin them i've made some of my best basketball plays in those but of course you know the cameras weren't on but it's it's all good we move and then these are my everyday you know running shoes these are just my roche runs you know i don't really take good care of these obviously i couldn't care less if they get beat up because i can literally just replace them and this has been my you know shoe of choice for a good couple of years now thinking about buying nmds but who knows so okay my windows right here you guys know how i was talking about that sleep mask earlier well essentially this is how i put my windows you guys are probably wondering dude why is it so black outside i don't know if you can see the little tiny light through there probably not yeah there's there's no fucking way but basically i have a blackout blind underneath my regular blinds because the sun used to come literally screaming through my windows and every single time I would wake up at a ripe 6 a.m. with the sun in my eyes. So, you know, I used to get some pretty shitty sleep, but now I have great sleep because no sunlight's getting in, which does kind of suck because I used to be able to open these windows and see this insanely, insanely cool view. And now I'm not really able to anymore because I have a blackout blind, but I kind of miss looking at the mountains when I wake up. But, you know, it definitely does not outweigh the pros of having a good old nice eight hour sleep. You know what I mean? Now that that's over with, uh, let's Let's move into the not only the mini fridge but this entire cube of just straight fucking garbage next to my bed so right here we got the q-tips you got some tape we got some fucking what is this dude oh yeah immune system uh um pills i'm not an opiate addict i swear some good old moisturizer um some vitamin d nuts <laughs> Some other garbage, we got some uh, some air freshener in case the house smells like. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, next we have my camera bag. Got my old G7X in here. This was a good camera, but I had to upgrade. Maybe I kind of went a little too overkill. What do you guys think? You know, let me know. Next we have my lord and savior, the good old $20 Honeywell fan. Now, let me just tell you, boys. I don't know how any of y'all sleep without the fan on. I literally can't. But yeah, those are the waters that I literally just filled up. Next, we got my remote. These are for the lights. I don't know if you guys see this, but I basically have one light up here, and this remote just controls it. You guys are wondering what lights I have. These are called Yang bulbs. Uh, they're, they're, I don't know. There's some Hue bulbs. They're really cheap. They're on Amazon. Last time I checked, I think they were sold out, but I'm not entirely sure. Just look up Yang Hue bulbs on Amazon. It should come up. They should be really cheap as well. But yeah, look at here. If I want to change the color to, fuck it, let's go blue. Look at that. Changes to blue. Moving back here. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably don't even know what this is, but for the few that do, this is essentially a audio interface and a DVX-286S. Basically, I'll sum it up for you guys. See this, uh, this microphone right here that you guys hear in all of my videos? It sounds really fucking good, right? Yeah, this isn't powered by a USB cable. It's basically powered by XLR cables and both the DVX-286S and the Focusrite 2i2 right there basically convert an XLR signal into a USB signal along with powering my mic and mixing it, mastering it, adding a bunch of effects. It just overall makes the mic sound really fucking good. You guys are curious as to what it's called? It's a Shura SM 7 b I would not buy it if I were you. The Blue Yeti or any other USB microphone will do just fine. But I mean, you guys hear what it sounds like. It's definitely a good investment if you are really, really, I, I don't know what you'd call it, fucking passionate about your audio quality. I mean, I'm not passionate about my audio quality. Anyways, moving on, we got two brand new Elgato key lights. Uh, in all honesty, they're not really that new. I probably got them about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago now. You know, before I had these two huge, huge, big ass box lights and they couldn't even fit behind my desk. I had to put them to the sides of my setup. So this is just overall really clutch. And the greatest thing about them is I don't have to replace the bulbs. So that is great. And look, they literally just clamp to the desk like that. It's fucking so dope. Anyways, moving on. As you guys can see, I have three monitors. Yes, I finally got 
got a third monitor. For those that, you know, don't really know or didn't used to watch me, I only had two monitors, believe it or not. So yeah, anyways, for this first monitor, it is an 144 Asus monitor. Shout out to VKs for letting me use this. Over here, we got a 240 hertz Asus monitor that I bought myself about a year ago. It is actually the greatest monitor I have ever owned. And then for the final one, we just got a regular 60 hertz Asus 1080p monitor that I got back in the day. I think I've had this thing for probably about six years now. And uh, yeah, besides the monitors, I should probably get into the keyboard and the mouse. I got a Razer, uh, what the fuck is this? A Naga Trinity. Holy shit, that's a crazy name. Since it has three buttons on the side, it is super, super clutch for editing videos. I basically have like a macro or a key bind on every single one of these numbers here. So yeah, it just makes editing that much easier. Over here, I got an An Pro. Really not sure why I decided to get a 60% keyboard considering I don't even play video games that much. And when I do, you guys know, it's trick shotting on Call of Duty. I really don't need a 60% keyboard for that. But overall, it just gives me a lot more space for my mouse because as you guys can see, I do have a full mouse pad right here, which is just so clutch. Getting it dirty, as you guys can see, it's a bit of a hassle, but you get used to it. And then over here, we got the good old webcam. As you guys can see, I have a camera. Basically, I have a Sony A6000 with the kit lens for my webcam. If you guys, you know, if you guys want to buy it, I'm pretty sure it's like 500 bucks. It's a super good investment. My webcam looks absolutely insane. It's literally on right now. I don't know if you guys can, uh, you guys can see that, but this is of course hooked up to the Cam Link 4K. And you know what's actually fucked about that is that I could use this camera as a webcam. Would never do that, obviously, because that shit is just way too HD and I don't want my face to be in 4K on a webcam. It just, it's not necessary, you know what I mean? But yeah, yo, we just got a jumble cluster of fucking cords back there. I don't even want to look at it. It just kind of makes me nauseous. But remember, I'm a YouTuber, not a tech connoisseur, and not a OCD maniac with a sexual relation with my gaming setup, so we, we don't really give a shit over here. And you can honestly just tell how little of a shit I give based on the Xbox and my gaming computer on the carpet. But I'm gonna throw the specs down in the description for you guys. I'm pretty sure I have a 1070 Ti with an 8700K. I could be wrong. But yo, anyway, this is the controller that I used to trick shot really just basic honestly i love it but yeah i should probably mention that this is not a 360 this is actually an rga so i'm gonna turn it on just so you guys can Oh, word, yo. Nah, I'm just playing. The uh, the power's unplugged. Well, it's an RGH. Trust me, you have my word on that. And finally, for my setup, we have the good old Elgato green screen right here. Now, the Elgato green screen is a very good purchase. Unfortunately, I don't use it that much. But honestly, I could see this definitely coming in clutch in the future. So, you know, maybe if I do something with the green screen, uh, I can whip this baby out and make something cool with it. And then here, we just got my phone and my AirPods charging. I don't know why I don't charge it closer to my bed. I guess I just kind of want to have to actually walk to my phone to turn off my alarm in the morning because you know I'm a, I'm a sleepy bastard yo oh the cords those are a bad look huh what time is it um 6 39 see I would go outside for no reason to do my outro but I think I'm just gonna do it in here so hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's video if you guys did please smash a like on this I cannot cannot beg you enough please <laughs> okay no but yo Seriously though, subscribe if you guys are new, and of course, go follow me on Twitter, please. Especially guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and uh, you can also hit up my Twitter DMs, they're open 24-7. Guys, I am gonna upload more vlogs with this camera very soon, and as a matter of fact, on my PC over here, I've just got files of footage. Look at that. So uh, yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll see you later. Deuces.